Alrighty, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Twister OS version 2.0. So you might have already heard about this. I am a little bit late to the videos. I'm sorry for that. I actually haven't been making as many videos lately because I've been pretty busy with school and just some things in life. But yeah, so I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new features and what we can do with one of my favorite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi 4. And you might notice the desktop looks different than anything else before. This looks like a Mac OS Big Sur theme. Did they add a Mac OS Big Sur theme? Well, yes, they did, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have it. This is the Mac OS Big Sur light theme, and we also have a dark theme included too. So right now, let's go over to their website and see the change log to see what they added. So if we just go over here to downloads for Raspberry Pi 4, as you see, they also have it for RK339 devices and desktop computers. If we just scroll down right here to version 2.0, so this is a big release because it's a new number, it's a new era for Twister OS. So if we look right here, we have the Twister OS dark theme. We have iTwister Sur and iTwister Sur dark theme. Right now I'm using the iTwister Sur. We will be taking a look at the other ones later. We have a new Discord app, which I'm excited about. We have Raspberry Pi Imager instead, which is... In my opinion, it performs better on the Raspberry Pi 4. Maybe not on desktop computers, but on the Raspberry Pi 4, Imager works the best. This thing actually looks pretty cool. We have Conky on our Twister OS theme. We'll be taking a look at that too. We have Flameshot. We have App Image Launcher, Twister OS theme icons, and we have a new Twister 10 cursor theme. And we have a new Whisker menu. We have Application menu. We have this new awesome Windows 10 type of wallpaper for the Twister 10 theme. We'll also be taking a look at that. We have new wine tricks, with which I'm actually pretty excited about. We'll take a look at that too. We have theme Twister, and there's just a lot of more awesome stuff that they've added. So definitely read this patch note, see what they have, because it's actually really cool. So right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Big Sur theme. So I haven't changed any settings. This is just the default theme. We have this awesome, really pretty Big Sur desktop. We have our thing right here. It's kind of like Mac OS. This part is definitely like Mac OS. We have the About Twister OS, which I showed in another video before, but it works really well. We can see all our infra system information and it looks exactly like Mac OS. It's just amazing. Up here we have our calendar. So it's kind of like the notifications on a Big Sur theme. We have our files, our workspace, this is another thing that's really cool. We have this new spotlight search. It works so darn well, and it looks just like normal Mac OS. I was so happy to see that they included this, and it's amazing. Like, let's say I want Imager, and look at this. It gives you so much information. You can even Google stuff. You can look for files. It's just a super, super handy tool to be able to have on your desktop experience. So right here, we can actually just go around, and yeah, so we can install like any find any application in our system just by searching right here like if we were to go terminal terminal emulator and it launches up and we have this nice big sort of type of terminal kind of we type neofetch we are going to have our twister os icon and it shows what version of twister os it is so it's just really cool and then to talk more about the Big Sur theme, they've kind of modded the icons to make them look square like the normal Big Sur. The Chromium isn't squared, and I think Great Developer said because that one wasn't looking good when it was squared, but it's fine. We have our mail, we have everything else normal. We have GIMP, and our App Store icon looks really cool, but when you launch it, it's just going to be the normal add or remove software that you have included in normal Raspberry Pi OS. And we have a new launchpad icon right here, which the other one was the Catalina icon. Now we have this one. And I do want to mention that the Catalina theme is still in here. They haven't removed that, of course. Most of the apps and softwares are the same as before. We just have like Flameshot, which is probably my favorite screenshot taker on Linux. It just works super well. It's super responsive. And yeah, so it you actually click it right here take screenshot and then you can actually just like take wherever you want like on this part of the desktop I just click on that and you can actually just click this button right here 
to upload to Imgur, which you can just copy this link, send the link to anyone, and they'll be able to see your image, and you don't have to worry about the file size, type, or anything like that. It's super responsive and works really well. So, next off, let's go ahead and take a look at the Discord app because they said they updated it, and it actually is a ton better than the old one, for sure. So it says Discord Web App, it also has a new name, and this one is also the one that's created by Spacing Bat, but it's super well optimized, it still is a web app, of course, because we can't get full Discord on our Raspberry Pi, but what I just really love about it is the feature of being able to have it on the top right here, like normal Discord. You can toggle it, quit Discord, see about, if I was to click about, you can see it's using Electron and it's made by Spacing Bat. But it works incredibly well, super responsive, and it's just really well. It's definitely better than the other one. The other one was just, it wasn't based off Electron, it was just normal. And yeah, so we can actually go over to our server right here. And if you're not a member, feel free to join. We answer your questions or we can have fun. Anything you might want, just join right here and we'll try to help you. And yeah, so I really love our task we're on the bottom because I am a Mac OS user. I do use Big Sur as a, my daily operating system actually. So having this desktop on my Raspberry Pi makes me feel at home and is really fun. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other themes. So let's look for the Twister theme Twister right here. And let's go next. So these are all the themes we have. We have a light and dark Twister OS theme. XP 95 and 7 did not change. This did, Catalina didn't change. Um, that's Catalina. Catalina didn't change. We have a dark Big Sur theme, actually. And then we also have a new wallpaper for light and dark. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Windows 10 theme. I'm not going to show the dark version because it's basically the same as this. But it's just dark. I actually prefer that one because it looks a bit better in my opinion. But it's all personal preferences. So I'm going to be taking a look at the dark twister tint theme. So we click on dark. Now it's twisting all of our themes. You do have to do a reboot after doing this. But that's no problem. Alrighty. So I rebooted my system. And now I'm welcomed with this really nice looking Windows 10 theme on my Raspberry Pi. As I mentioned before, that old Nighthawk wallpaper is taken away. Instead, we have this new Twister OS logo, which actually looks better in my opinion. I actually really like the look of this. It looks super sick and awesome. So let's get started. Let's look at our file explorer. Looks just like a Windows 10 theme. And our bar looks exactly like Windows 10, surprisingly enough. We have our Word, Excel, we have Outlook, we have our CMD, which is actually Terminal. But I actually feel at home with this Windows 10 theme too. I actually really enjoy it. So if I do use Twister OS as my daily operating system, I could be switching between the both of them. I'm not exactly sure. Next, let's take a look. They said they updated the Whisker menu. So they made it look a little bit more like real Windows 10. It's still obviously not there, but no, non- no Linux distro really looks exactly like it. That's just too hard to do. But yeah, I mean, the, the theme is looking really good, really clean, just like Windows 10. I really enjoy it. And they also said they updated Wine Tricks. Let's take a look at Wine Tricks. Give it a second to launch. And see what they've added. What's changed? Because I'm actually not sure. Oh, yes. You always have to update Wine right when it starts. It's going to ask for Gecko and then Mono. I'll have to do those updates too. But yeah, so this of course is still out of new software. Actually, I'll just do those later. Because I don't want to have to wait for that right now. But yeah, so give it a second to launch. We have Notepad, which is actually Mousepad. But yeah. And... It's super cool to just, Twister OS is an amazing distro for the Raspberry Pi that I really love. So, which actually is really cool is you can edit Wine, do everything from here. You can even install an application. So, if like, if I was to choose this, click OK. There's a lot of apps that are already here, or you can choose your own. Like, let's say I want 7-Zip. Let's tick that. 
Click OK. Yes. All right, let's see what happens. And I mean, this thing, it should grab those applications from the web and try to install them for me. So it's actually a really cool application to have on your system to be able to use Wine really easily. Look at that. It downloaded the exe file for me. I click install, close, bam. I don't know that error, but 7-Zip was installed on my system. It's that easy. So go through that wine tricks, see what applications are available, see what you like, what you don't like, and play around with it. We, of course, also have Box86. We have everything we need. Next, let's take a look at the last theme that they changed, which is the Twister OS theme with the nice Conkey Manager on it. So if you just click Next, Let's go Twister. Let's go dark. Let's go dark. Yeah. And here we are. The nice Twister dark theme. It looks super slick. Everything is dark. Click. So let's open up the file manager right here. And you'll see in the used to be white. Now it's dark. So it's pretty slick. Looks cool. And right here we have this Conky manager that shows our CPU usage or GPU usage and our RAM. So it's actually a really cool tool to have on your desktop. You can just glance right there, see your stats, how much you're using and how much you're not using. So yeah, I mean, there's not much else to show because this theme has been here for a while and I actually really enjoy it. Web browsing, everything is fine. So this one is the most custom one. It's not based off Windows. It's not supposed to look like Mac OS. It's supposed to look like its own thing, which actually really like and like the idea of having its own thing rather than just trying to imitate another operating system. But if you did ask me, what's your favorite theme in Twister OS? Right now, I'd probably say the Big Sur Dark theme. The light one is also nice. I just like the dark theme a bit better. And I'm a huge fan of the Big Sur look. I just think it looks really slick, but that's my opinion. You might disagree. And yeah, I just really like the Big Sur look. That's why I use it. And another cool thing that you guys might be excited to hear is that in the future, hopefully soon, they might be releasing an image called Twister OS Lite. Because some people don't like that there's all this software in here already, which, I mean, I totally enjoy, but some people don't. Like all these apps, games. So what this Lite version would include would be, all it would have would be themes, Box86, and that's basically it. Maybe PyApps, maybe PyKiss, but that's all. It wouldn't include any other software. It would just be that. So for a lot of people, that might be what you like. And for some, it might not. Like for me, I enjoy having all these pre-installed applications so I don't have to install them myself after flashing the operating system. So it's just my personal preference, but just a bit of news about that for you guys. And yeah, so thanks for watching this video. If you have anything to say about Twister OS, any questions, anything, just let me know down below in the comments. And I'm glad to make this video. It was fun doing. And yeah, thanks for watching.